Hi, Big Tractor Power fans. This video comes to you from a Western Kentucky canola field where a pair of John Deere S690 Class 9 543 horsepower 400 bushel combines are harvesting the crop equipped with 40 foot wide McDon draper heads. In addition to showing the canola crop being harvested, which is used to produce vegetable oil, I'd like to share with you the entire growing season in this video, including fall tillage and seeding, spring application, summer harvesting, and a second crop of soybeans that is planted directly behind the combines as they harvest the canola. There are a variety of big farm machines used throughout the growing process of canola, including big tractors, tillage implements, seeders, sprayers, and combines. Let's head out to the field now and start in the fall with seedbed preparation. In western Kentucky, canola is seeded following the corn harvest, which takes place in August and September. This farm is utilizing a 510 engine horsepower John Deere 9510 RT track tractor. The tractor is pulling a 40 foot wide Great Plains 4000 turbo chopper. This vertical tillage implement is used to size and chop up the corn residue to allow the stalks to begin to decay, as well as working up the soil to firm up a seed bed for the new canola crop that will be planted. Once the Great Plains Turbo Chopper has prepared the seedbed, the farm begins seeding the canola crop. The farm utilizes a 360 engine horsepower John Deere 8360RT track tractor and a John Deere 1795 40 foot wide planter. This planter is used to plant multiple crops on the farm. It is a split row machine. In the spring, it's used to plant 16 rows of 30 inch spaced corn. It's also used to plant 31 rows of 15 inch space soybeans. Today it's also using all 31 rows to seed the canola crop. Canola seeds are extremely small and the farm likes to use the 1795 planter to meter out the seeds as they're planted in the soil. This allows the farm to get just the right rate of crop planted. The canola crop grows over the winter and in the spring the farm utilizes a 165 horsepower John Deere 4630 sprayer equipped with a 600 gallon chemical tank and 80 foot wide booms. This sprayer can apply herbicide to fight off weed pressure as well as insecticide and fungicide to eliminate pests that can reduce the canola crop's yield. Canola is harvested in the month of June in western Kentucky. Farms in the region typically hope to see the crop yield anywhere from 85 to 90 bushels per acre. Here we can see the 543 horsepower John Deere S690 combine harvesting the canola.
When the S690's 400 bushel grain tank is full, it unloads at 3.8 bushels per second from a 28 and a half foot unloading auger. To keep the combines rolling non-stop through the harvest, the farm utilizes a 520 engine horsepower John Deere 9520RX narrow track tractor with a J&M 1501 grain cart. This big grain cart holds 1,500 bushels, and now we'll see it unload the combine and then head back to the truck to unload. Following right behind the John Deere S690 combines is the farm's 360 engine horsepower John Deere 8360RT track tractor with the 40 foot wide 1795 planter. This is the same planter that seeded the canola crop in the fall. Today the planter is seeding a second crop of soybeans into the canola stubble. The 1795 planter is no-tilling the soybean seeds directly into the canola stubble. You'll notice that the planter is equipped with a spray bar mounted above the 31 rows of 15-inch space closing wheels. Canola is a fragile and delicate crop, and as the plants begin to dry down, they split and drop seeds on the ground even before the combines can begin harvesting. Having the spray bar mounted on the planter ensures that a herbicide is applied to the field and eliminates volunteer canola from putting pressure on the newly seeded soybean crop.
In the month of October, the double crop soybeans reached maturity and the farm returns to the field with the Class 9 543 horsepower 400 bushel John Deere S690 combines. These machines utilize the same 40 foot wide draper heads that harvested the canola to also harvest the second crop of soybeans. Double crop soybeans in western Kentucky not only follow canola, but they also are planted following winter wheat harvest. Typically, farms in this region hope to see a yield of 50 to 60 bushels per acre on the second crop of soybeans. I hope you've enjoyed hearing and seeing all the big farm machinery used to raise and harvest canola in western Kentucky. I'd like to know if you raise canola on your farm, what type of machines do you use to seed it and what do you use to harvest it? What part of the world are you raising the crop in? Are you located in North America, Europe, or somewhere else? Let me know in the comments section below this video. If you've enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube where there's over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. As always, thank you for watching.